What's up my kings, queens, and trolls of YouTube? This is your girl Queen C coming back with another video for you today. Now today's video is about social media supervisors. That's right, I said social media supervisors. Those are people watching what you do on social media people that want to get in contact with you people that are trying to reach out to you that you don't feel like dealing with at the moment that see you posting or commenting on social media and automatically catch attitudes and feel as though you should be responding to their phone calls and text messages because they see you have time to respond to social media well let me tell y'all something there are times in a person's day and life where they don't fucking feel like being bothered. We don't feel like being bothered. So we may not answer our phone to you. We may not text you back right away. And yet you may see us post on Facebook. It may be a comment. It may be a picture. It may even be a game request that you see. But the reason why you see that. And the reason why we haven't answered your phone call is because we may not feel like talking to you. And when you have one life to live, at any given moment, you are allowed to choose who you feel like dealing with. Now, with me, you know, I have a few people in my life that, that come with negative energy. And sometimes I just can't. I just fucking can't. But that doesn't mean I can't read something on social media. That doesn't mean that I can't comment or talk back and forth to people on social media. Because some of the people that I'm speaking with, they have positive, upbeat energy. And sometimes I just feel like being positive and only speaking and receiving positivity. Whereas I may pick up the phone and speak into a certain individual or a few individuals may just lead me to being miserable. So I don't feel like dealing with that. So in turn, I won't answer the phone. But what kills me is people with self-entitled attitudes clocking what the fuck you're doing on social media and automatically assuming because you're doing something on social media, you could be answering their phone calls or texting them back faster or whatever the case may be because it's always about them. And what they don't understand is what they do is about them, but what we do is about us. And if we don't answer the phone, that's because we don't feel like dealing with you. So anybody out there, don't ever feel guilty because you're doing you. If you're on social media and somebody's calling you and you don't want to answer, fuck them. Call them back. Call them back. They can leave a message. And I'm not trying to be funny, but even if they're calling you to tell you somebody is dead, when you return the phone call, the person's still going to be dead. It is what it is. People always want to monitor what somebody else is doing and clock them and, and social media has become a good tool for clocking people. And my thing is, I will not be clocked. My time won't be clocked. What I say to somebody won't be clocked. If, I, if, if I'm if i on social media and somebody, and they have, and they have, this is the funny part, they have. If somebody says to me, well, I seen you posting on Facebook, but you didn't return my call. You're blocked on Facebook, and I'll also block your number. Because I will call you when the fuck I'm ready to call you. And if I have not called you, that means I'm not ready to call you and I don't feel like talking to you. Now, I could be nice and just not do it and let my actions speak for themselves. But then you got some people who are flat out idiots and want to make you get nasty with them just so that they could confirm their reason for being upset. They want you to get nasty with them so they can confirm their own reason for being upset. Because if I don't call you back... To me, if I call somebody and I leave somebody a message, they don't call me back right away. Okay, I don't feel like talking. I don't give a damn. I go, I move right along, do whatever it is I'm doing, and I don't even think about it. I don't call people back to back to back. I don't look and see them on social media doing something and then call them again and be like, hey, they're on social media. Why can't they call me back? I don't give a fuck what they're doing. If I called you, I leave you a message, and you don't call me back right away, my feelings don't get hurt. Because I'm built to not give a fuck. So I will talk to you when I talk to you. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. It doesn't matter to me. But some people just be all up in their personal feelings and getting mad when you don't call them back right away. Mad when you don't answer them back right away and all that kind of stuff. And then they call you up and then they'll be sitting on the phone like, 
What took you so long calling me back? How come you didn't call me back? What took you so long to text me? I text you. You ain't text me back. But I saw you post a comment on social media. And then when you say, because I ain't feel like it. Well, you ain't got to be ignorant. You ain't got to be like that. So to avoid all that, don't ask a person. Don't worry about what the hell they doing on social media compared to what they haven't done that you want them to do. People are grown. They're individuals. They do what they want, when they want, how they want. And if that doesn't fit in with your schedule, then you need to make your schedule around somebody that gives a fuck. That's what my video is about today, guys. Social media supervisors. If you have some in your life, cut them loose. Don't let nobody feel like they can monitor your behavior on social media and base that on what, you sh what they feel as though you should be doing in real life. Don't even let them put that kind of pressure on you. Life is too short. You need to live it the way you want to, do what you want to, and answer when you want to. So until next time, you guys, don't forget to subscribe to me. You can follow me on Instagram at Queen C. Subscribe to me at Queen C. You can also follow me on my Facebook page. That's the Queen C's Hive. That's the Queen Letter C, apostrophe S, Hive. Like my page on Facebook. If you have any questions you want to ask me, you can also email me at the Queen's, I'm sorry, at Queen Krishanda at gmail.com. Peace until next time, guys.